This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. So, should we have a play around with some numbers examples? Admittedly, they are pretty straightforward and pretty simple, but we need to be able to do them before we move into other parts on this area of the syllabus. Okay. Uh, example number one uh, says that what would be the required return from QPLC? Uh, so, you've got the beta is equal to one. Uh, the market is given a return of 12%, so that's RM. The risk-free rate is there as 5%. Okay, uh, So the return that we get from the capital asset pricing model is that we have RF, which is there as 5%. Beta is 1.5, and we then multiply that by 12% less the 5%. Okay. So what we've got the 12 less 5 is 7, I think. Yep. Times by 1.5 plus the 5. The cap M return is 15.5%. Okay. So if I was to invest within that investment, I would expect 15.5% because it's an aggressive investment because beta is greater than 1. And Therefore, I'm getting one and a half times that risk premium. Okay, not one and a half times the market return, one and a half times the premium for investing on the market. Okay, excellent. There we go. Any questions? I didn't think so. Okay. Uh, example number two. Uh, example number two is, is reasonably straightforward. I don't think there's anything to it. Have a go. See how you get on. Uh, you should get, uh, is it there, 14.4? Using cap M. Okay. You're probably doing it now whilst I speak. I can't even stop and encourage you to, to stop the video. I just don't think it's worth it. Surely you should be able to do that. It's ridiculously straightforward. Okay. Got it. Sure. Positive. Yeah. If we move on. Yeah. Go on. Let's move on. Uh, next one. Uh, what have we got there? Example number three. Ooh. Just playing around with it just ever so slightly. Uh, it says, what is the beta of SPLC? Okay. Uh, so what we've got there is the cap M return is there as 20%. So we're going to need to rearrange some formulae. Uh, RF is there as 8%. RM is 25%. So 8% plus beta multiplied by 25% less 8%. So, it depends on how good your maths are, how quick you are at doing it. You've probably done it really quickly. Some of you who love maths, those of you who don't like maths, let's have a look. Uh, so, if we subtract 8% from both sides, we get rid of the 8% there, don't we? And then we have 8% on the other side is equal to beta multiplied by 25 less 8. I can't think, so I'll do it on my calculator is 17 okay uh, that's then equal to 12 percent is equal to beta multiplied by 17 percent so if we divide both sides by 17 the 17 is cancelled there and beta is 12 percent divided by 17 percent which is there as naught 0.706. Okay. There we go. Okay. It, it's as simple as that. Okay. Uh, just to throw something in, just in case the examiner tries to make it more complicated, you think, geez, surely they've got to make it more complicated than this. Uh, you'll see it gets more complicated as we work our way through the videos. Uh, just note what could happen and say, let's just use example two because we didn't really look at that in full. Uh, what you could be told, say, within that question is imagine you've got beta, again, as 0 0.8. Imagine you've got RF as 8%, okay? Uh, based upon this, 
the risk premium is the difference between the two. The premium is the 16 less 8, which is 8%. So you could be given beta, is it there, at 0.8, RF at 0.8, and the premium at 0.8 as well. Okay, so again, if that's the case, just be careful. You've got 8% plus 0.8 multiplied by 8%. Okay, and when you do that, that should go through there and give you, is it 8% plus 6.4%, which is the same 14.4% percent okay uh, so do just be very very careful there okay you could in an exam question be given the risk premium as opposed to rm okay if you read the premium there as rm you might do rm minus rf uh, being then what you think is the premium uh, eight minus eight is zero that, that's just nonsense okay does that make sense if it doesn't do the questions and you'll soon see it okay Excellent. So two nice, straightforward. Two. Can't count anymore. Uh, what's happening to me as I get towards the end of the syllabus? Uh, it's been a long, hard slog. Uh, but those three examples are, yeah, nice and straightforward. I'll see you in the next video.